Hi, welcome to time complexity upper bound calculation using tabular method. So here we will use the uh, table to calculate the upper bound calculation manually. Uh, the given uh, upper bound calculation based upon the big O notation or uh, given criteria is always 0 less than or equal to given function f of n and less than or equal to c into g of n. Here uh, n always greater than n0 and uh, c and n0 all uh, are positive numbers. So given function is 4n plus 5 uh, linear function and uh, less than or equal to c into g of n how can we de how can we decide c into g of n so here first we will start with first the 4n here n is the dominating term when comparing with the constant 5 so we will take the next possibility so this is greater than so g of n should be greater than c into g of n should be greater than so we will take uh, next term 4n then 5n then 6n 7n 8n so like that it will come so first term we will take 5n we will take 5n next term 5n so so from the 4n and the next term is 5n next 6n and 7n then 8n so it will keep on go so here we will take the next term 5n because the uh, f of n is uh, less than or equal to c into g of n so c into g of n is greater than f of n so we will take uh, the 5 n so here uh, we will take the table f of n equal to 4 n plus 5 and c into g of n equal to 5 n we will start from the initial value n 0 equal to 1 right n equal to 1 so when you are taking the n equal to 1 you look at that uh, we will get the 9 4 into 1 4 plus 5 9 so here 5 into 1 5 so here this is not satisfying this is not satisfying this is uh, f of n less than or equal to c into g of n is false it is false then when you are substituting the n equal to 2 you will get uh, 4 into 2 8 plus 5 13 here you will get 5 into 2 10 so this is also false this is also false then we will take the 17 i mean 3 n equal to 3 so when you are substituting 4 into 3 12 plus 5 17 here 5 into 3 you will get 15 so this is also not satisfying the f of n less than or equal to c into g of n so this is also false then you will take n equal to 4 uh, 4 into 4 16 uh, 16 plus 5 21 16 plus 5 is 21 okay so here 21 then here 5 into 4 20 this is also false this is also false not satisfying then when you are taking the uh, n equal to 5 so 4 into 5 20 plus 5 so 20 plus 5 25 then 5 into 5 25 so now which is less than or equal to true so this is true this is true so from the 5 so here n0 equal to 5 at the location n0 equal to 5 f of n and c into g of n are both are equal this is true then when you are substituting the 6 so 4 into 6 so 24 plus 5 so 29 then the c into g of n is here uh, 5 into 6 30 so which is less than or equal to uh, c into g of n so this is satisfying the given condition so from the n equal to uh, 5 from the n equal to 5 which is satisfying your value so from the n0 equal to uh, from n0 equal to 5 and uh, with the value 5n c into g of n c is the 5 and g of n is uh, n and n0 is here 5 n0 is here 5 right so from the n0 equal to 5 onwards which is satisfying the f of n uh, less than or equal to c into g of n so manually we can calculate the value uh, of constant and g of n by using table approach thanks for watching